Zach and Jack, and we are on Fox Sports Radio, 6 to 9, weekdays, 4 to 7 on the weekends. Catch us on WNDE 1260 in Indianapolis or XM 142. We're on as well, so catch us there. Now, we're coming out of the NCAA weekend. We're down to the Final Four. My bracket stink. Yours stink as well. You, neither one of us did very well. Of course, I think that's, a, that's pretty common. And so as we look at this Final Four, I think we have, we have David and Goliath. Goliath being the two big powerhouse basketball programs, Kentucky and UConn. Goliath, VCU, Butler. What do you think? Well, the two Davids, the first time ever, an 11 and an 8 are going to that? be in a Final Four. And, well, for Butler, they're returning to the Final Four. But let's remember, this was a bubble team. This is a team that was 6-5 and five at one time. Might not have got in League. if they didn't win their, their Horizon League uh, tournament, right? And then VCU, all you got to do is watch some uh, network TV and say, What? They don't pass the smell test. They don't even pass the laugh test. Well, who's laughing now? His name is Shaka Smart. And by the way, something that we, we noticed about this team, they actually won a tournament last year. Yeah. It was called the College Basketball Invitational. I don't think anybody's ever gone. Resume? I don't know if anybody's no, ever gone from CBI champs to NCAA champs, but they have a chance to do it. Wow. Who, who knew? Right? Who knew? Um, but, yeah, I, I think uh, Butler, obviously, to me, is no longer really – a, um, a team that you would say is a Cinderella story. I mean, in my opinion, what they did last year was was fantastic, getting to the final game, coming within, you know, a fragment of, a, of an inch of winning the game over Duke on the great shot by uh, Gordon Hayward. But Butler, to me, isn't a, isn't a surprise team. I mean, they, you know, they've done a lot of things to be in the position they're in now. They've gotten hot. they play played great defense. they they play a, a different style of game, slow it down a little bit. But... They're not surprised, are they? I no. mean, we can maybe start to no. even, even move them over towards that category of being a Goliath as opposed to being a David. Well, what's even more important, I think, Jack, is they're not surprising themselves. No, they, I mean, they believe they're going to get here. Last year, it wasn't David versus Goliath in the championship. It was Butler versus Duke, and Butler felt like they were the better team going into that game. Oh, well. It, it appears as they play in this year's NCAA tournament that... They believe they're a the better team on every court they step out on. And there's no reason for them not to believe that when they win the close games down the stretch. And now in the Final Four, when you got VCU in a strange role for the Butler Bulldogs, they're actually favorites going into this game, according to the opening line. I don't think for Butler, while a lot of people still around the country say this is a Cinderella team, I think they'll be disappointed with anything less than a national championship this year. They believe in themselves. Yeah, I agree with you. And then, and then of course, the other game with... with uh... Kentucky and UConn. I mean, this is this sets up for a great weekend. Two great games Saturday Saturday night to end this thing up to get to the final game. Two great matchups. I like the VCU uh, Butler matchup. I think it's going to be very interesting to see who comes out of that game and who they get because that Kentucky and UConn are both good basketball teams with great young players. Kemba Walker has probably been the the MVP of the, of the college basketball season, the best player. So we've really got a great situation. I know I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you are. Yeah, yeah, it's very neat. And, you know, we look at these two teams when we talk about Butler and we talk about VCU. Both of them went off as 200 to 1. Big long shots. Yeah, so some yeah. bookies are very nervous going into this weekend. So it's going to be an exciting one. Uh, UConn, Kentucky, they've both been there. Butler, they've actually been there. But VCU with their chance to get there. And keep in mind, this is a team that... That, uh, that they are who we thought they weren't. This is the team that everybody complained about being in the tournament. This, this opens up the arguments for two things. One, should there be 96 teams in? Maybe, no. the fi maybe the final four would be Colorado, Virginia Tech, Butler, and VCU if we let them all in. And also, and I hate to say this, but it kind of makes the regular season a little bit irrelevant. That's an argument, and I well, hate to say this, for college football's BCS system. And I, I, I'll tell you, I think the three-point line is the difference. In what, it gives the smaller schools a chance in a one-and-done type situation. I think that's been a key factor in these games, and we've had no great teams. We're Zach and Jack, Fox Sports Radio, weekdays, 6 to 9 Eastern time.